is a Monday and it is the start of a new week and it is also the start of a challenge to try and be vegan for an entire week week i'm very excited mostly because i love like challenging myself and trying new things but also there's just so much information out there about being vegan and also from the opposite side you know being omnivores and you can kind of find a lot of evidence out there to support both claims so i think it's super important to honestly do self-experimentation try something out and see if it works for you i think that different diets can work for different people and until you know we have conclusive evidence one way or the other you know why not try it? why not try being vegan what really bugs me about eating meat is the environmental impact of it i think that there's nothing wrong with eating meat but i think that we eat too much of it so really for me what i really want to take away from this is to be less reliant on meat. I wouldn't say that I'm overly reliant on it now, but I basically do have some sort of meat or animal product in every meal. In the morning it's eggs, lunch, and afternoon it's usually like chicken or fish. I don't eat a lot of red meat as it is. And who knows, maybe after this week I'll feel fantastic and I'll wanna continue it. So I'm gonna be documenting the whole thing for you guys. I've done a lot of research on this to make sure that I do it the right way. Um, so I will be going over that all in this video hopefully for you guys But right now I'm gonna show you guys what I have in my fridge for this week of being vegan So this is my fridge. Oh, it's not like super organized. It's not like fridge goals or anything, but it's not like not a disaster So that's good. I've got some eggs for Matt not important, but um, yeah, he's being vegetarian So he can have eggs and dairy products I have some bread. This is the bread that I always buy. It's my favorite. Actually pickled some onions because I'm going to make avocado toast. And normally like I put eggs on my avocado toast, but this time I'm gonna do like avocado toast, pickled onions, a little bit of balsamic. It's gonna be, just to give it a little bit of zhuzhing, you know? I did that. I've got some tofu. I've got some extra firm tofu here. This is gonna be used in like stir fries. And then I have, I have some just firm tofu in this little container. That I am using, I actually used it this morning in a tofu scramble just because it's a little bit softer, a little bit more crumblier. I don't know, I'm not a tofu expert, but I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. I got some Kite Hill yogurt. I believe it is an almond base. Yeah, vanilla almond milk yogurt, completely dairy free. Just kind of wanted to try it. Um, I haven't been eating a lot of like dairy products in general lately, but I did want to try it because why not, you know? Giving up the meat will be one thing, but giving up dairy, I honestly don't eat that much dairy as it is, only on like occasion, so that'll be easy. Really the hardest thing I think is gonna be giving up eggs. Like I love eggs. They're so good on their own. They're so good in so many different ways. Anyway, moving on. I have some hummus. Actually, I didn't buy this this week. I just always have hummus. I like hummus. Okay. I have some lettuce, some spinach, spring mix. I bought a bunch of Topo Chico. I'm obsessed. Oh my God, I should have never tried it. It's expensive. And then I just have like a bunch of veggies in the veggie drawer, which is basically like zucchini, cucumber, and bell pepper. That's it for the fridge, so let's move on to the pantry stuff. I have this stuff over here. I have some avocados, tomatoes, Spaghetti squash, bananas, some onions, and some sweet patata. Moving on to pantry items. I got a ton of legumes. Two cans of garbanzo beans, two cans of black beans, and then also two cans of corn. I've also got some artichoke hearts that I'm going to put into like salads and bowls. Seeds, hemp seeds, lots of protein. Pumpkin seeds, also a decent amount of protein. I've got some pasta sauce and some chickpea pasta. Whoops. The chickpea pasta has a lot of protein. It's got like 13 grams for a two ounce serving. That's a lot. I've got tons of grains already. I have quinoa, I have rice. I've also got some buckwheat and some oats. These are also have a decent amount of protein in them. One thing I forgot to mention that I got in the fridge. So I ran out of my fish oil supplement and I was gonna get more, but this week, since I'm being vegan, I decided to actually get a vegan supplement. So fish oil is great for getting your EPA and DHA, 
and that's a harder thing to get when you are on a vegan diet just because there's not a lot of natural sources out there i believe the only source is like microalgae it's from spectrum it's just vegan ultra omega-3 epa and dha with vitamin d algae sourced for brain and heart health so your body needs a certain amount of like omega-3s and all that stuff and there's different types of omega-3s you've got your alas and your epa and dha and your body can convert your alas into epa and dha but it's not efficient it takes a lot of ala to do that so you can get it in supplement form instead which is i think just an easier way to do it so that is what i'm doing with this supplement but i did want to talk about it so my grocery bill was about the same i spent a total of i have it written down 126 dollars that's for me and that which is about average for me eating vegan doesn't have to be expensive especially if you're buying the right things you know lots of fruits and vegetables grains legumes like that stuff isn't expensive what gets expensive is when you're buying beyond meat burgers and all the processed vegan stuff which i'm not saying that like it's bad but i think that if you're eating a lot of processed vegan food you're sort of missing the point really you're just relying on junk and processed foods that's not necessarily healthier but anyways i am hungry now so i'm going to make a smoothie using my pea protein that i have been using before i was being vegan you know before this week from chapika it's the best plant-based protein ever period hands down ever <music> my post-workout meal right there I just got some chickpea pasta normally I would have put like chicken in here or maybe some like ground turkey meatballs but I just omitted that and I'm also going to add some of this nutritional yeast this kind of gives it like a cheesy flavor it also adds some protein and has vitamin b12 in it which is another thing that's often lacking in a vegan diet what's up guys it is Thursday halfway through operation veggie girl all i gotta say is so far so good i just really had to go to the bathroom on the first day like on tuesday for all though i feel pretty great i don't feel like super bloated anymore it was just kind of that first day i think it was just kind of an adjustment i'm about to make lunch right now i've been making this dope ass salad <laughs> it's so freaking bomb so i wanted to show you guys the recipe let me just get out all the ingredients <laughs> So basically what I've got is baby spinach, some spring mix, cucumber, tomato. I'm going to make a tahini ranch dressing. Ranch dressing, because there's no dairy in it, it's just gonna be lemon juice, tahini, some Dijon, and a few spices. I'm gonna throw these garbanzo beans into some seasonings and then put it over on the stove. I'm also gonna top it with some pumpkin seeds and some nutritional yeast. This week, I have been obsessed with nutritional yeast. I've been putting it on just about everything. It is day Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Day six of the vegan challenge. I've been shuffling, so I'm a little sweaty, a little red, but I just made a snack that I wanted to show you guys. Oh, so excited. So I've got two rice cakes here. They're just plain, lightly salted. I've got a savory one and a sweet one. So the savory one has some hummus and some homemade pico on top. And the sweet one has a little bit of almond milk yogurt and a little bit of honey. And I know before you at me, honey is not vegan, but in my opinion, insects aren't animals. Comment below what you think about honey being vegan or not, okay? Cause like, I know people are gonna come at me for saying that, so I'm just gonna stop talking about it. But I did wanna talk about this almond milk yogurt. At first I thought the texture was a little weird, but it actually grew on me a lot. And I actually think it tastes really good. If you like the flavor of almond milk, you'll like the flavor of this. So Matt and I, Vegetables! 
are at Jade Bui, which is a pho place in Boulder. It's gonna probably get like some tofu vegetable soup. If you live in Boulder or Denver and haven't been to Jade Bui, I think that's how you say it, you have got to go. It's so good. Ultimate fort mode. Get in there. Getting in. <laughs> so, consensus on the vegan pho. It's actually really good. Lots of veg, lots of tofu, and the broth was really flavorful. Now, Matt and I have made, well, Matt made it. I didn't do anything. I have made this little bed fort on our living room floor, and we're about to watch a movie. What are we gonna watch? I want to watch Up. Up. We're going to watch Up. It's Sunday. The last day of Plant Boy and Veggie Girl. Yeah, honestly, I just wanted to recap with you guys. Overall, it wasn't that hard. And then as far as I felt, like I didn't feel really any different other than that I was super gassy <laughs> matt can confirm in the gym like i felt good i didn't feel like depleted on energy you know and obviously this is like super speculative like i don't have any hard evidence or anything it's also only a week take that as you will but really all i wanted to do was just like i said become less reliant on meat and like honestly this week was great for that i have like a bunch of new recipes and a bunch of like new ideas for things and meals that I can make that don't have to include meat. Probably be eating more tofu, making my meals feel less less centered around meat. Mostly I miss eggs. I just miss the freedom. I think that's the biggest thing. I don't think that like a restrictive diet is the best diet in any way, but I do think it's important to be mindful of what you're eating. And that includes, you know, being mindful of how it affects the environment. I feel fine. I mean, I'm probably gonna keep doing this. It's easy to do it at work, so I'll probably just keep doing that at work. I think like the environmental aspect of doing this is why I can get behind it. Well, and it's like we were saying, like when we buy meat, like we're gonna buy the grass fed and like local, local stuff, local. like when we can. Local. There are farms around us that like we're just on the street. Yeah. That sell that, so we can go try and do that kind of stuff more often. Yes, it's more expensive, but it's easier to do when you're eating less meat. Continue this journey i'm not i'm never gonna eat a hamburger again like, i mean i'm still getting my cheese stick i hope you guys enjoyed this video I stay tuned give it a thumbs up if you liked it i'll see you later